Despite the rising death toll, Travel Pulse founder Mark Murphy telling After the Bell nearly two weeks ago he would still travel to the Dominican Republic. Here he was. I was just there in January. I personally would get on a plane tomorrow with my wife and kids and go there because I know the destination. And this is too scattered to be some conspiracy. All right, we wanted to check back in and see if anything has changed. And Mark Murphy joins me now. Mark, what do you think? Yep. Well, I'm actually booked now for the first week of August to go down to uh, the La Romana area. So, yeah, I'll be, I'll be heading down. Um, it, I think it's still I think it's still fine. I think the guy in Santo Domingo, again, completely unrelated to a resort in Punta Cana and uh, La Romana, et cetera. These are all happening all over the place. And unless I, my opinion is, if it wasn't the news coverage, this would not be a story in terms of the people having a loved one die at the age of 56 while he's down there. And a gentleman ha owns a condo there. He goes down there a lot. It's not something where he's just the there at a hotel though? on vacation. What about the couple? That's how do you, the one. How do you have two people sure. die together. Yeah. That's the one when we spoke last week. That's exactly what I said. That's the only one that raises questions, but we don't know until we get the toxicology. Did they take something that was laced with fentanyl, let's say, in a drug? We have no idea. And so right now it's all conjecture. Because the FBI and CDC are there on the ground, to me, that, that is the key. Let them come out and tell us what's actually happening. And you wouldn't just wait until they're done. I mean, you wouldn't just stay away from the island. There are plenty of places to go. Wait until the FBI and the CDC have their findings and then go. Well, so, so, yeah, that's a good question, right? So the question becomes, because these things are, quote, happening down there, I'll bet you if you went around to various islands, various countries around the world, for instance, Thailand. Thailand's a great, safe destination. Been there many times. They've had 33 deaths last year of American tourists. Yeah. Okay? But we're not talking about Thailand, are we? We're talking about the Dominican Republic because it has caught fire because of these things happening in rapid succession. Okay. But now you have people that had, had somebody die two years ago, three years ago, saying, I think it's suspicious. That's, that's stretching it a little bit, in my okay, opinion. Okay, so what advice would you give, then, to the local government or the hotels mm -hmm. to wrap their arms around this? Because even if it isn't fair... No matter how, uh, mm -hmm. it still is, it's a huge story. People are talking about it. I mean, I, yep. I was walking around in North Carolina this week, and there were people in the streets talking about why would anyone go there right now. They were having conversations among themselves. So clearly, at the right. very least, they have managed the PR of this very poorly. What would you tell them? So if I was them and I was advising them, I would say, sit back. Defer to the CDC, defer to the FBI, defer to the State Department that has not changed their level of warning. The State Department still says it's a level two, which is no different than any neighborhood. I'm sitting in Charleston, South Carolina right now, and there are neighborhoods here that are, would be considered level two. So at the end of the day, but you have to look at it and say, what, been what doing. is the threat? And that's what they've been mm -hmm. doing is not, and well, that's not no, what they've been saying nothing to see here. What about the Hard Rock no, taking proactive action? I like what action. the Hard Rock's... Yeah. Yes, I like what the, I was going to mention that. Like what the Hard Rock's doing because they're basically taking the suspicion out, which is the mini bar idea that somehow that's killing people. Even though this guy's in a different hotel in the middle of Santa Domingo, for instance, that's a smart move. Saying we're going to have a U.S. based um, healthcare oversee what we're doing here on property. That is great stuff. Great PR moves. Proactive. I like it. Don't be defensive. You've got the CDC, the uh, FBI. You've got the State Department. They're saying, yeah, State Department saying, continue to go. Yeah. That's what the State Department is saying with a level two warning. RK, Mark Murphy, best of luck to you. I hope we talk to you again before you leave and when you come back. Always ready. All yes, right. Thanks. Bye.